Go on, Arthur. Dynamite, Arthur. Charles, 
Seymour? Not for now. Come on. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. <laughs> Please don't kill me. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go. It's okay. Okay. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... they killed them. You're safe now. Just... try to breathe. What are we doing? Just talking about something? They're animals. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they? <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. Um. Days. <laughs> I know. What's your name? Yes. It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um <laughs> If you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Yeah. Just head.
head for the main street, it'll be easier to walk from there. Yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! She saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brew got her. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Okay. Thank you. That's mighty kind of you. This is Dallas? Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone! Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you Shit. Back Who and drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing, Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. I told him, I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> no, me. You're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty. You. Damn. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah.
You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that beady look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. Goddamn you. Murderer. Murderer! Morning to you. Yes, so, uh, how are you? About as good as can be expected. I, I'm happy. How well? Yes. Um. Hope we have a better day. Another day. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Arthur. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Well, I'll take what I can get. This is going to be a good day. Put on some warmer clothes, friend. Hello.
Hey, why don't you sit a while? Don't you have anything warmer to wear? It fades. Trust me, it fades. What then? Your youthful bloom. It fades. And it's a heart.
You look like I feel. And how's that? Death. Or in my case, like dying. Well, how's that for a welcome? I'm sorry. How can I help you? All right. Forgiveness for a price. Let's make that messy past go away right here. Bye then. Looking to pay away those sins? Thank you. I've seen you around here before, eh? Sure, let's take a look then. Uh-huh. Another one. Ah, oh, why not? Sure, go on then. I'll take another. Hmm. Don't need to know where you got this. Right, let's have a wee look. Much appreciated. Lighten's my load. So long, now. said and now the two of you have betrayed me at once do you know what betrayal means bertram no everything okay imagine saving people Go taking them to your breast and metaphorically i mean like a mother caring and raising them and then they go and stab you in the back have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people. And I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers. And they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no. tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. No. Oh, fuck it, he... No, no. Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the knife! Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Back time! Easy, big guy. <laughs> Not nice! Naughty! Naughty! Uh, mean man! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be here. 
away! Uh, uh, ah, mean! You gonna behave? No! <gasps> Ouchie! Next time, avoid me. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off. To, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Out of the damn way! Hello again. Let's make that messy past go away right here. Thanks.
Oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. But the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you got to hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. 
Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right. You try now. Remember to... close all day <laughs> not bad focus on the inhale shoot on the exhale I'll shoot a few more this time <laughs> show off all right let me try again I say thank you but I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up would you join me for a meal it's the least I can do Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appétit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. There's just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay.
My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Okay, hey, fella.
Look out! Not old crazy man Cassidy. Help a blind man. This is the one. Kill them for what they done to us. You ain't got no way to run. Get in there. Have your kids. That fun's gonna start. Shit. <laughs> 